Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Auto. So I hope you can hear me okay over the wind. It's a bit breezy today. So here we have a Kia Soul, obviously. This is a 30 kilowatt hour Kia Soul EV in this really nice pearlescent snow white metallic paint with the electric blue roof and mirrors. It's a really stunning car. Um, as you probably know with these Kia Souls, they're only available in three colors, the white, the blue, or the um, metallic gray, they call it silver. But this is the most striking, it really does stand out. Um, I like the way that you get the colored roof, but you also get it there in the uh, headlights and around the front charging port, around your grille, and at the bottom of the uh, bumper. You also get this uh, glass, green plastic glass effect in your headlights, fog lights, and there on the side. Um, really nice, and even the um, blue colour is metallic as well. It's just a really stunning looking car. So these Kia Souls are a fantastic EV, really underrated. Uh, I think they've got the best drive and suspension setup of, of any EV sub uh, £30,000. Obviously, you're not going to compare this with a, a Tesla Model 3 or the new Kia e Nero, but any of the slightly uh, older cars, this is by far the best. Um, really spacious inside, huge amount of room for the passengers, lots of headroom. You don't get a particularly big boot, that's the only downside of them is the boot's not huge, but it's big enough. Uh, you get a folding um, parcel tray at the top there. Um, then under here you've got a, a compartment that you can keep your charge cables and other stuff. There's actually masses of room and really deep. And then right underneath that is the uh, puncher repair kit. And then looking in the back, the seats have got a 60-40 split. Uh, they don't fold completely flat, but uh, they're about the same as they are on most modern cars. We seem to have lost the ability on modern cars to flip the uh, seat cushion up and get them utterly flat, but uh, they're not bad. And then as you can see on the Kia Souls, you get the same trim in all the cars, the very light gray fabric, two-tone gray, and the stitching actually matches the roof color on this car. Uh, they use the same stitching in all the Kia Souls, but it's only the white one where it all matches and you get the same on the leather steering wheel as well, which is really nice. So the purpose of these videos primarily is to describe the condition. And if you see my videos before, you'll know I point out every little single stone chip mark or scratch I can find. I don't hide anything. There's absolutely no point. And then that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle without coming to view it first. And then people can buy from afar and I'll get the vehicle delivered to them. So with this one, it is really good condition. Uh, it's just immaculate. There's a very sm couple of very small points I'm going to uh, highlight, but they really are pretty insignificant, to be honest. Um, we'll do a quick walk around anyway. The tire tread depths on the website, and uh, there's also a photo gallery on the website where you can look at all the pictures and anything I point out, you can zoom in on the picture and have a really good look in detail. But that Aller wheel doesn't have a mark on it. Um, the, tire tread depths on the website not sure whether I said that um, but anyway not a mark stone chip or scratch at all down the sides the mirror caps don't have any scratching it's just in stunning condition that alloy is all good uh, around the front again it's just immaculate um, the only thing I'll show you which is just to point out how picky I'm going to be there is a little stone chip right down low on the bumper on the uh, blue well, turquoise part here just there but I don't have any of this turquoise paint to touch that up but it's only plastic and it is right down low you don't see it from standing up at normal height there's no stone chips on the um, bonnet I have waxed this as well so it's all nice and smooth and then uh, looking on this wheel there was some very minor curbing here is about an inch there an inch there and an inch or an inch and a quarter there uh, these are black painted alloys so I just dabbed a bit of black paint in there to make that look better because when you uh, when they have curbing then you start seeing the aluminium color come through when it takes the black paint off but that's it uh, the rest of the alloys are all completely mark free um, yeah nothing to show you down here all immaculate um, really nice condition. The only other thing I was going to point out is there's a couple of very minor scratches on the back bumper, but you're always going to get that where people's hand goes in here to open the boot. And there's three little scratches there, which I've dabbed a bit of the proper Kia paint in. And there's a, a scratch there in the paintwork. Um, I've tried polishing that out, but that won't come out, but it's not bad enough to put any paint in. 
Uh, but as I said, you're always going to get that on the bumpers, particularly where uh, it's painted um, bumpers and your hand is going to go under there for the handle. And that is it. it. The rest of it just looks like new. It really is immaculate. And then uh, it's all immaculate on the inside. We've got the Kia mats. It looks like the back has never been sat in, to be honest. Really clean and tidy, as is the front, including the front driver's seat. Just nowhere. Just really smart. And then looking here on the inside, we can see the mileage there is 14,933 miles. Um, what do I need to show you on the inside here? Uh, I'm not going to go into full review of what the car's got. Um, but these are really nicely kitted out. There's no options on the electric version of the Soul. You just get everything. So we've got um, Bluetooth, telephone, of course, voice control, um, speed limiter and cruise control. This has also got um, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Uh, heat pump heating system with climate control and you've got preconditioning. Um, what else have we got? Parking sensors and camera on the back. If I just put it into reverse there, we can see we've got a nice camera there. Um, heated seats, left and right. Um, we've pretty much got everything on these cars. Automatic uh, headlights. The only thing you don't get is automatic wipers. They didn't give you that for some reason. Um, up here we've got sunglasses case, uh, sunglass holder, should I say. Oh, the other thing you get is illuminated speaker rings. And then there's a control down here and you can adjust how you want them to flash and they, they sort of just go through a colour spectrum or they can pulsate to the music. It's quite a nice little feature, it just adds a bit of fun to uh, nighttime driving. Uh, the multimedia system is particularly good on the Kias and the Hyundais, I really like it, it's just very simple to use. Um, we've also got a driver only mode on the um, heating, so you, if you're sat on your own, you're the only person in the car, you can just heat the uh, driver's side without having to heat the whole uh, the cabin. Ultimately it does heat the whole cabin anyway, but it is a little bit more efficient. Just turns off the uh, vents in the other parts of the car. Um, these have got a very efficient drivetrain as well. Um, but uh, obviously it's got a... <laughs> Um, you've got to uh, drive it efficiently to get it, but anyway, we can see here 4.3, 4.5, 4.2, 4.6, 6.7. .6, On the Kia Souls, uh, just, you're going to get probably nearly a mile per kilowatt hour more like for like driving than you do in other EVs. Um, the Kia and the Hyundai are both the same, they're just very efficient. But if you drive these efficiently, there's absolutely uh, no problem getting five miles per kilowatt hour or more. Whereas on many other cars, you would really have to struggle to get that. So generally, you're going to get four and a half miles per kilowatt hour without even trying. And if you drive it economically, economically you're going to get four, sorry, five to five and a half, uh, even a little bit more in the summer. So they are very efficient. And obviously, you get a better range to, um, to uh, with that. Um, so the range here at the moment is showing 121 miles. We're not fully charged. It's about 90% charged. Um, but of course, it's based on recent driving history. Um, so as your driving improves, the range is going to improve. But you can get 130 miles out of these in the summer, no problem. But um, uh, you, you, can get, you can get more as well if you're going to uh, drive economically. Um, out of my own Hyundai Ioniq, which are a little bit more efficient because they've got more aerodynamic shape, you know, I'm, I'm seeing 140 miles without even trying to drive efficiently in the summer. Um, and uh, they've got a smaller battery than these cars. So, uh, uh, and it's a very similar drivetrain. It's pretty much the same drivetrain underneath. Quickly just explain the charging. So we've got two charge cables here. This is your type 1 to type 2 32 amp charge cable that's what you would use to connect to your home wall charger or workplace charger or a public AC charging post and then in here we've got a portable charger often called a granny cable and that allows you to charge a vehicle on a three pin plug. It does take longer when you're charging on a three pin plug because those can only draw th um, 10 amp whereas if you're using a normal wall charger you're going to charge at 32 amp. And at the front of the vehicle here behind this flap is your charge port. So this is your AC charging port type 1 and as I said it's a, a 32 amp uh, port and then this is your DC Chadamo 50 kilowatt 
port so this is what you would use on the roadside on a, a public DC rapid charging and then you're going to get a charge from 0 to 80% in about 30 minutes using the DC port. Just to uh, show you this because a lot of people do question the mark here on these cars so a lot of modern cars have this clear plastic uh, sticky sheet on the protruding arches and that just protects the paintwork from stone chips because uh, stones or whatever flick up from the front wheels and will hit the bodywork here so that's just a protection sheet but you do end up getting this little sort of dirty line along the edge where dirt clicks um, collects on the edge of the uh, plastic there um, but that's normal and you get another little bit protecting that uh, uh, bit of metal work there so as I said, this has got the 30 kilowatt hour battery pack. You have to be a bit careful when you're buying these because I've seen other people advertise cars with the smaller pack as 30 kilowatt hour ones. So um, they obviously did the 27 kilowatt hour packs before they bought out the 30 and it's very difficult to tell what size the pack have got. And I see that people do wrongly advertise the, uh, the size of the pack, but this is a 30 um, and this is ready to go. So if you're interested, give me a call or email. And uh, as I said, I can deliver these anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use. And I think these are probably the most striking looking EVs out there. If you like the look of the Kia Soul in this color combination, it just really is bold, very impressive. Um, I've been surprised how many people in neighboring units have popped in and had a look at this because I've had this in for about a week now and uh, yeah people have popped in never seen anything like it and uh, been getting some very positive comments about it I've sold a couple of this color previously um, and uh, yeah the customers have said they've had more comments about their new Kia Soul than they've had of any other from any other car they've ever owned um, and it's just very striking and uh, it does draw quite a bit of attention. So many are going to want to know about the battery state of health. Obviously this car's got a long warranty on it anyway, but I've got my diagnostic port uh, plugged in, I've got my scanner here and I'm looking at the real time data feed from the battery pack and we can see here that the battery state of health is still at 100%.